Alright, what's up guys, Source Relate Intro there, and uh, basically, when I do one of these, like, lazy videos, as you see here, we got effects going, <laughs> so we're gonna do like this, we're gonna talk a bit about Giratina in OU Suspension Ladder, um, basically, you know, it could be an April Fool's joke, but I really don't think it is, because the original form, or origin form, of Giratina is, um, it's basically like a mega form. Um, in theory, and what makes Yertina very, very interesting as a Pokémon, besides its great stats, is its unique typing. Um, a lot of people have suspected, you know, that this Pokémon, or the reason it's being pushed down, could be that due to its not being able to wear items, it's pretty much is a forgotten gem. As you look fast against for its stats here, we actually got a good thing going with 150 base in. Um, in its attack, its offensive stats is split to 120, and its defensive stats are split to 100, and has a you know pretty good 90 base speed going. And um, basically, what's worth mentioning here? Well, obviously, it is offensively built. It is bulky. It has a lot of HP, but can't put our pressure on its offensive stat. It is not as bulky as the original form or as its Asian form, I guess you should say, but um, besides that, it, that is obviously the reason it would be put down, and um, it had lacks re reason good recovery, which means that, you know, it's here to stay, it really feels like that. I do recommend people bring in like 50 base to speed stats, so they are able to outspeed uninvested knight to fire base Pokemon like Glisco. Um, that is definitely a way to deal with it. Being able to outspeed Glisco is kind of important. Not because of the will is to pull up, but definitely for the put if they feel risky and go for a knockoff instead of a protect, and you get a will is on him, which means the toxic ones heal him. So keep that in mind. Besides that, we're gonna you know go a little bit about this attacks and whatnot. And uh, as you see, the graphic is awesome. Could make extend this a little bit, but I'll think you guys figured it out. Um, basically, we're gonna talk a little bit about. Um, of course, that original form has Levitate, which is a great ability to have. Um, it has no real weakness besides the obvious one being Ghost itself and, of course, Moonblast or Fairy type in Will Hurt it. But the thing we're keeping around there is that a Steel type could help it out a lot. Uh, Mega Metagross is a great uh, Pokemon to have with this guy. And also, other steel types could work well. Bishop is a good Pokemon to, you know, cover it up. And also, Clefable is able to help it out a lot, too. So, those would make a great core, honestly. And Keldeo could even, uh, which is a lot of pressure that, um, while your team can take it, you know, you don't really want to risk it. The weaknesses you got on this Pokemon, they're actually, I think, there are four weakness. Uh, yeah, you've got Ice, and uh, Ghost, Dragon, Dark. So, Dark is, um, oh yeah, that is really something I need to say before going there. A lot of people like using default Giratina. I say use it, but use it cautiously if you want to decide to do it. Because a Bishop packs Defiant. Which means that, of course, if it comes switching, that it's gonna get a massive attack boost. And since Giratina can't, you know, it can barely deal with Bishop as it is. Uh, having that switch out against you, it's going to ruin you. So keep that in mind, people, definitely. And um, I don't know how people will use this Pokemon if you're going to use the bulky set with Dragon Tail or if they're going to actually use a potential sweeper. Um, both ways are fine, but remember that Yertina has a good accessibility to its attacks. We got one thing that I really like is the Willow Whisper Core because of the Ghost type. Um, in combination with Hex, that is a great move, and we also get Phantom Force for the people who want to use this thing physically, um, or Shadow Force, which is basically a Phantom Force, but a bit stronger, and uh, it breaks through Protect like Shadow F or uh, Phantom Force does. Uh, this is a great way of dealing with a lot of Pokémon that could stall you out. But besides that, and the thing I really like is to be, if you're going to be physical, then you really need to utilize. First off, Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak is super important. And also we got the move that is Iron Head. Iron Head is probably your go-to move if you're going to deal with fairies. Since the attack stack is so massive on Giratina, you can easily, with Iron Head, deal with them, like the Fable, even Sylveon to some extent. Um, 
and I do recommend that. Also, you have the chance to flinch, you know, bring a 30% chance, which is more than enough to actually wheel things down. So, yeah, that's a 30% boost there. I do recommend this. I really do. The uh, physical set is um, it's easily to deal with, but at the same time, it's the same way or both way. Um, so, yeah, definitely take, take that in mind. So, I really believe Shadow Sneak, Iron Head, Will O Wisp. And uh, worst case scenario, you know, go for a stab move, so maybe uh, Dragon Claw or anything like that, just for the damage, or you can go over Earthquake just to be able to deal with potential steep Steel type that has the chance of walling you out. You could go for Shadow Claw and have two of those moves, but like I said, Shadow Force might be the better move, um, only as long as it doesn't have you know a normal typing in it. And uh, of course, Wigglytuff is um. A pretty prominent counter for um, Giratina, which is kind of funny. That goes for Mega Odino too. Normal Fairy is no resist both its stab, which makes this Pokemon a bit tougher <laughs> to um, deal with or to kind of counter with it. So it's kind of funny. Um, I think that's all. Um, definitely, like I said, use Default cautiously. Um, remember that the only accessibility for recovery for this Pokemon is either Pain Split, which it can't utilize good uh, because of its massive base, massive HP of 150, but also got Rest, and I've seen people talking about Rest Talk with uh, Calm Mind and Stag Move. Oh, sorry, I had to jump you. Um, <laughs> I just got off work, really sorry about that. But um, either go for Shadow Ball, which means that you only have resistance to normal typing, or you can go with Dragon Balls and only be resisted by Fairy. Either way, you'll find. But that is definitely what I recommend if you want to be very, very solid. Rest Sleep Talk is probably the best set because it will annoy the heck out of people. Or you can go, you know, at any set you want. But uh, like I said, default cautiously. Don't rely too much on recovery. And make sure that your Giratina is able to deal with its main threats which is the fairy typing and bishop which actually can utilize itself really well against Giratina. so definitely keep that in mind people and if you have any ideas on you know what you want to do with this book in the future or you know general ideas that could work in the future make sure to write them down down below because i do read them and i actually am very interested in what you guys think uh, you're good. <laughs> sorry um so anyway, guys you know i want to thank you for watching of course and i'll leave um yeah, leave a like, and I'll leave some suggestions down below when I find something out, and I'm going to uh, credit you guys if you get up with a good set. So I hope you really liked this video, and uh, yeah, as always, have a good day, and take care, right? Bye.